Hi there everyone. In this tutorial we're going to make a typography. To start out I took this picture of Philip Phillips. I used my fuzzy select tool and I progressively selected regions of this gray and white gradient background from both sides and then deleted them. Um, pretty easy to do. You could do that in a lot of ways. And what I ended up with was just a Philip Phillips with transparency around him. So I'm going to make a couple of copies. We're going to go on to the steps for creating the type typography. I'm going to save these for later. And on this top copy, I'm going to desaturate. Now that I've desaturated, I want to do some um, colorizing. So I'll go to colors, color balance. And I want to pick out some shadows. I'm going to bury my red all the way to the right, to 100. Say OK. And that, what that's going to allow me to do, to do is pick the red regions only. I'm going to select by color. Um, if your threshold is down, you want your threshold to be up to about 40. You can go a little higher if you want it. Again, I'm selecting by color. Um, I'm going to add the current selection. Looks like I've got most of the red, which is what I want. Looks pretty good. Now on that, I'm going to go to colors and threshold. What that's going to do is going to give me a shadows of his face, like so. Say OK. And now I'm going to copy. So edit copy, command C, control C, control C, however you want to copy. I'm going to add a new layer. Get the transparency. And I'm going to paste. And what we're left with is, as you can see here, this outline of Philip Phillips in black. So just the shadows. I'm going to take my other copy to the top, turn the eye on, and I'm going to desaturate again. This time, what we want to do, instead of going after the shadows, we're going to go after the midtones. So our red over again. And you see it's going to select a slightly different region. I'm going to say OK. And take our Select by Color tool once again. And pick the red regions right here. Say OK. That looks pretty good. I don't want to get too much red. I want to keep a separation between my shadows and my midtones. So now I want to go back to colors and we're going to threshold out the midtones. like that and then take it all the way over so I get black in every area where it was previously red. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to copy again. Make a new transparent layer to hold it. And I'm going to paste. And anchor. So what I'm left with now is this area right here. So that's the midtones. I'm going to label it midtones. And I'm going to layer, label this layer shadows. Okay. So I have a midtones layer and a shadows layer. Now I'm going to go about adding my text for the typography. So on the 
I'm, I'm going to start with the midtones. With midtones layer, we want to add some text. We're going to do an aerial. It should be thinner, an aerial five. And we need some text. So I have this text from song right here. And copy it. And I'm going to come over here and make a text region. Okay, and paste. And I'm just going to keep pasting until it covers the whole region. covering the whole region. Now this is the only part that's a little bit tricky. We are going to apply something called a layer mask. So we're going to go down and add a layer mask. I right clicked and added a layer mask. Or you can go to layer mask and add layer mask. I'm going to a white mask. So we have a white mask right here and what we want to do is take the mid-tone layer, copy it, and paste it to the mask. So select the mask, edit, paste, and it's likely going to slightly shift your, your um, mask a little bit. We'll fix that in just a minute. I'm going to anchor. And not too much of an effect yet, but once we invert the mask, colors, invert, and turn off our midtones, you can see that we're left with words where there were midtones. It's a thing, set of words right here. So now we're going to go back and do the same set of steps to the shadows, except we're going, except we're going to add a slightly heavier aerial black, aerial bold. And we need text layer. Okay, so we're going to pick the text layer again and make a new text layer. Just like that. Go back and get our text one more time. Copy it. And change our font to Arial Bold. and paste one more time. Now, we're taking a bolder font than the midtones because the shadows are supposed to be darker. So once we have it totally covered, it's just pasting, pasting, pasting away. Now what I want to do again is add a mask, white layer mask. Okay, add, go down and copy the shadows, layer, select the white layer mask and paste. Okay, anchor that guy down. And then one more time I'm going to invert. And when I invert, what it's going to do is it's going to take the words away on the outside and put the words on the inside. Because whatever goes black on the mask, um, you can't see, and whatever is white on the mask, you can. So we're going to invert. And there are our words. So now we have dark 
on the outside, we have light on the inside, and now remember I said we were going to use this layer copy. So what we're going to do with that is take it to the top and duplicate it a couple of times. Before I do that, let's take this blank transparent layer right here and throw some white in. And there you can see our typographies come together pretty well. And the last little step, I'm probably going to move this guy down just a little bit. And I'm going to take that word, that, that copy of his head, move it over the typography. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time. And now I'm going to change the mode from normal overlay. And I'm also going to do it on one underneath, change the mode to overlay. And now we have what looks like a pretty cool typography where we have the midtones in a slightly lighter color and the shadows in a darker color. That's it for now. Until next time.